Thundering its roar across the plains, rampaging at unrealized speeds through the trees, rocketing through the sea of salt at lightning speeds, or beginning its morning as the sun is setting, then once exhausted from its nature, sleeping for 20 hours, nodding off through the day, anxiously finding rest when she can, or diurnally dozing once his mission is complete. Like these four glorious creatures, you are intricately designed, and like everything else in life, you are designed with a uniqueness contrasted even to your closest kin. Designed to move, hunt, play, and create, but often your maximal potential is thwarted by both how you were designed and in what systems, paradigms, and matrices you live. Ever feel restless, depressed, lethargic, groggy at work or school, or irrationally irritable, not attaining the things you want in life, whether career-wise, relationally, or with physical training, you are not alone. In fact, at least half the population is in a state of sleep deprivation because you're not operating and training according to your naturally wired sleep type. And it's depriving you of reaching so many of your goals, which adds to the stress, putting strain on many other areas of life, including your physical training. And then, like Michael Bruce, creator of the Chronotype Quiz says, trying to get good sleep while you're stressed out is like trying to make a half-court shot while blindfolded. The situation is as old as time. A cursory glance at biblical literature reveals dozens of verses on sleep and stress. I will lay down in peace and sleep, for the Lord has me dwell in safety. And likewise, meditation and physical training, which all go hand in hand. Like the finely tuned Formula One car explosively turning the corners, or the monk meditating in the ice cold for the discipline that trains the brain and the body for life or the high-performance athlete moving in ways that makes many folks' heads spin. But not all operate this way. The light bulb went off for Bruce, who metaphorizes human sleep patterns as four mammals. The lion, arising before the sun, stomach growling and ready for the hunt, then sleeping through the rest of the day until that time the next, when it is time to beat the sun for the kill. The bear does as she pleases through the day, working, playing, nodding off when it's time, with the world's nine to five work schedule designed around her activities. The wolf is the opposite of the lion, feeling his superpowers kick in as the day rolls forward into the night. And Bruce's dolphin, for mammalian kinship purposes, will replace with the shark, whose sleep patterns can be as chaotic as the frenzies they often find themselves in. Anxiety or deep thought or whatever the case may be, the shark's sleeping is quite unique characterized by hunting at either dawn or dusk, and then sleep schedules unpredictable through the night. You'll probably find yourself somewhere on the spectrum, but what happens when we layer on top of that stresses of work, the worries of life, the goals left unmet, the achievements left unaccomplished? We must solve this problem, and the solution is not just taking a sleep aid, supplement, nap, or pushing through. It's in physical training, skills-based, goal-oriented physical training fully integrated into your naturally wired chronotype. Then the scales fall from the eyes and the stealth fighter within is released to explode to new levels. But it always starts with introspection and honesty, then the coaching, then the goals and parameters to make it happen. Because everyone is unique and everyone needs a coach, mentor, teacher, sensei, or whatever you want to call it to get to the next level which is exactly what we do on a daily basis. So make sure to subscribe, and if you want to get dialed in, then click the links and go down the rabbit hole. But again, you must train according to your sleep type, according to the layered individual that we each uniquely are, including sleep. And in contrast to what so many of the hustle addicts and ancient philosophers will tell you, like Plato who said, much sleep is not required by nature, either for our souls or bodies, or for the action in which they are concerned. Consider Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, one of the recorded wealthiest people in the world, who is a bear. Where to modify Plato, optimize sleep according to our nature is required, both for our souls and bodies, and for the action in which they are immersed. Such that for lions, train first thing in the morning or in the afternoon as fatigue begins to set in. So the endorphins kick in and carry one through the evening. But that's only accomplished by hitting the gas pedal on physical training to get the necessary hormonal release at the right time. And by acknowledging your sleep patterns and integrating that into your work schedule and daily life. And for the bear, 
The same holds true, just in different patterns, with training occurring late morning or early afternoon, thus stabilizing the day as well as forcing nutrient consumption at the proper times so that the body's composition is maintained. And then the wolf, the creative souls navigating the nights, who must train fiercely and ferociously in the evenings in order that hormones surge for processing of caloric intake that often occurs much later in the day. And finally, the shark, who according to its own nature must adopt a paradigm for life that comports with its more intricate mental framework, training early in the morning to calm the waters for the rest of the day, or training late in the day to calm the mind for rest. But again, the training must be serious, beyond that of the hamster who runs its laps on the treadmill, or the butterfly dancing from one flower to the next, but serious, devoted self-study and progressive advancement in strength and skill, with focus also dedicated toward understanding what kind of training might be done, with focus also dedicated toward understanding what kind of training ought be done, uniquely according to the individual and his or her strengths and weaknesses, then we start to understand ourselves. Honestly, completely, baggage, past injuries and all, and layer these elements and solutions to these problems until we sculpt superheroes out of the still unmodeled clay. So much more to share with you, so join me in the next video and I'll see you there.